Okay, people, um, we had a lovely thing earlier. We're, my wife is about to read a story to my daughter. Um, she's quite tired and whiny. But the spirits were getting in, and they're asked. Yeah, we've asked them what story they want. They're getting really impatient because I've just got the camera. I wish, you know, it's a bit of a tender moment because they actually chose the story. They've chosen Beauty and the Beast. They're, they're saying, Tell. They've called my daughter a thirdless because she was crying and didn't want that story. I wish I got that. Anyway, start reading and see what we get. I'm not filming them, by the way. You're not going to see my wife, sorry. <laughs> they laughed at that. <laughs> so we're starting, Spirits. You happy that we're starting? Good. She, Missy's upset because she doesn't want that story, but the Spirits have chosen Beauty and the Beast, honestly. They're desperate for it. But she's going to get her story after. But she's a bit spoiled and tired today, you know. She's a new dolly today. You know, she's had everything she wants. And now, you know, all she's got to do is wait three minutes while she has another story that she'll probably like. Anyway, let's start with the story. These spirits have been waiting a long time. About 20 minutes we've been waiting now trying to argue. And as I said, the spirits even called her a third list for not letting her have a story. Oh, I wish I had that on camera, but I don't like having my daughter on camera crying. That got, uh, you know, I, I don't find it exciting anymore, but I, that got me a little bit like, wow. That's Furtless. Cool. A spirit that's calling cool. my daughter no, a furtless. Tell, tell, come tell, on. Tell, tell. Furtless. Okay, let's read. Subject to start. Yes, we're starting. Sorry. Okay. So, Enchanted Winter Party. One snowy day, Belle and the Beast came up with a plan to have a surprise party for all the enchanted objects. They wanted to spread them to their work. Look, look, he's doing the dishes. Can't see you, don't worry. Do can't, not see, can't see you, I'm trying to get the book. The book. Can't even see do, that. Do you mind? No, I'm not getting your boobies this time, I'm getting the book. Carry on, keep reading. No! No? No, I'm not getting you it. She's very protective over her book. Mrs. Potts, Cobbler, and Lumiere saw the happy couple whispering and thought it would be lovely to host a surprise tea party for them. Mummy loves her tea here in Britain. Belle and the beast walked through the snowy snow. She's crying. You're going to get your story in a minute. Well, the Belle and the Beast walked through the snowy forest gathering decorations for the party. Belle found holly berries and the Beast gathered frosty pine cones. The lamps gone now, haven't they? Look, there's so many. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, Mrs. Potts was busy brewing tea yeah, for their the surprise party. Quiet. They're listening. Which what have I got, darling? Um, oh, it's been caught out. Or fur cones, you call them over here. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I have my fur cones. You like painting those, don't you? Shall we carry on? She's smiling now at the world. Carry on with the story. Smiling girl. Meanwhile, in the kitchen, we did this, haven't we? So, Mrs. Potts was busy brewing the tea for their surprise party. Lumiere and Cogsworth don't even spoil managed it, spirits. to bake some festive cakes. <laughs> You mentioned, you are mentioned. Don't spoil it, please. Just listen, please. <laughs> Belle decorated the parlour with holly as the beast wrapped tiny presents. Belle smiled. The room was finally ready for the party. Just then, the enchanted object. That's holly. That's more of a Christmas thing, isn't it? Remember? Christmas. Well, we did. Just then, the enchanted object brought in tea and cakes and shouted, Surprise! Everyone laughed and enjoyed the wonderful winter party they'd made for each other. And that's the end. It's a little, it's like tiny little stories in a massive book. What did you think, Spirits? Did you enjoy that story? Was it a bit... You liked it? Okay, lovely. We're going to read another one now. All right. Is that going, is that like no, or are they just going sky? They're just being excited about it, I think. They said yes, um, there's a gap, then there's another M M together. So yeah, it's cool, that's cool. Is it Rapunzel you want now, huh? We're going to listen to, Spirits are going to read Rapunzel now. Are you ready? This 
It's sure called enough. Rapunzel and the Golden Wall. My wife even has the book open so they can see the pictures. <laughs> it is like reading to children, it's very strange. You're bored? Is that what you said? Right. Can you say fail? Can you say it again? You say bored? I'm trying to say something. Yeah, it's murmuring, yeah, murmuring. Borders! Excellent. That's hilarious. Brilliant. That furthest, though. That was funny. I wish you had that. Oh, yeah, I know. Okay, next story, spirits. Here we go. Are they really, yeah, but, uh, they do you want another story? If you do, hit I the promise, button. If not, we'll stop it. I promised Missy Rapunzel, so it's up to them whether they want to. I can watch that list. Well, we're going to read a They want it. Go on. QM. Well, they just said they're bored, babe. Yeah, they're bored. As in, they got nothing to do, so listen to the story. They've got nothing else to do. They want the story. Go on. <laughs> Rapunzel was about to see... No, that's just the dinosaur going through its motions. That's them. Go on. They want you to start. Oh, She's starting. Really. Don't spoil it, spirits. Oh, well, now you want to listen, Cheeky Chops. Rapunzel was about to see her lifelong dream come true. She had just ventured out of her tall tower for the very first time. A young man named, Fl named Flynn was taking her to the kingdom to see the floating lights that appeared in the sky every year on her birthday. Oh, he, Maximus is the horse, isn't he? He's trying to pull the, uh, Flynn over by dragging his shoes and pulling him about. Well, we just read the story so we find out. Yeah. Unfortunately, a horse named Maximus appeared and tried to drag Flynn away. Why did he away? Do you know what? It's a story. It's because it tells you what happens. Why You're smiling. Why did he come away? Should we find out where Shall we read it and find out where he's hiding? Yeah. Okay. 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 Flynn had stolen something from the palace and the palace horse Maximus was determined to arrest him. <gasps> Shocking! Luckily, Rapunzel... <laughs> Busted! He should be in jail. Why? <laughs> because you don't steal, it's really bad. Just... Stop busting me! Why do you stole it? It doesn't say what he stole, it just says he'd stolen something from the palace. So Maximus doesn't like him, he wants to arrest him. Luckily, Rapunzel persuaded Maximus to let Flynn go, at least until after she had seen the floating lights. But when Flynn tried to climb into Maxim onto Maximus's back, the horse threw him into the mud. So now we know how it's got muddy, don't we? I don't like this horse, Flynn said, and this horse does not like me. Rapunzel was sure she could teach Flynn and Maximus to help each other. But she knew it was not going to be easy. Rapunzel explained the golden rule to Flynn and Maximus. To get along, they needed to treat each other in the same way that they themselves would like to be treated. That meant that they had to be nice to each other. To demonstrate, Rapunzel scratched Maximus's ears. See? She said she asked Flynn, now you do it. She's bossy. Us women now, aren't we? <laughs> Flynn reluctantly pat patted Maximus on the head. Rapunzel was thrilled. What's he doing? Pardon? What's he doing? She's stroking Maximus's nose. You know, the big long nose. <laughs> Rapunzel was thrilled that they were getting along better already. Now let's all go to the kingdom together, she said. He said no. I don't know if that was, what was that part of it. No. What? Get along together now or something. I don't know. I haven't got a close way. Pardon? No, carrying on. I'm confused. Yeah. They're 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 they always they always carry on. They always carry on. It's me interrupting. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just click? Yeah, I click. He said, "There's he go." Entering the kingdom was a little tricky <laughs> since Flynn <laughs> since Flynn was wanted by the palace guards. <coughs> Dad. Yes, Mum. Will you talk to me while I'm swinging on the swing? I'll talk to you when she's got a new swing that I built her. Yes, I will talk to you when, I'm, when you swing on the swing tomorrow. Okay. Lucky you, is that when Mummy's at work? Yeah. Mm, cool. Lucky you. That's when Mummy's at work. I know, when Mummy's at work. 
I'll speak to you on the swing when I made you. Should we give you. the story up or keep on? Keep on. Keep on. Mm. Spirit, do you, want to, do you want the story to carry on? Or would you like it to end? Yes or no? I think I've gone to sleep. That's what I was about to say, you read my mind then. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. I wish Missy would go to sleep on a story. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, carry on. You don't want me to go to sleep on a story. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Look at her face. Stroppy. Look at her face on her. I can't show you people, but it's a face. What a face. <laughs> Shall we carry on? <laughs> Whee! Yeah. Whee! Oh, right, okay, so. Do you know how hard it is to read me all this going on? Yeah, okay, you've got a bloody spirit box, you've got them egging you on me, Missy. Missy Camaro. Oh, sorry, darling. Spirits, you'll have to wait. They'll carry on in a minute. Relax now. If you're going to listen, we'll carry on, but if you oh, don't relax, we're going to turn it off. And the book is closing. You know, Sal Homer Simpson's foot, the foot is once, going once down. Once the foot goes down. And, and, and the there's a big Oh, the camera's gone way out of focus. Uh, way out of focus. Fine. Hello? Where's that key to? Where's that key to? We never said that. No. Well, I have. We had Morse code, didn't we? But that's the oh, only yeah, time. Oh yeah, we did have that. Yeah. Right. Uh, but most of us let the young man hide behind him as they walked past the guards. So he was very. Quick. I heard that. Help! I'll help you. Can we do a session tomorrow? Come back and I'll help you. Who's coming? Yeah, I'm pretty well. Who's coming? Who? What do you need me to do? Sorry. Yeah, I hear you saying help. But what do you need me to do? I pray for you, but I need your name. Tell me your name, I pray for you. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Who is that? Laugh at me. A woman's going, help, and she's really. Is that Mavis? And that's why I pray for you, give me your name, they laugh at me. That's a devious laugh. Yeah, if you're negative, kindly sling your hook. Oh, we... <laughs> yep, please do. My guardian angel here, can you help me out? Yeah, Ian? <laughs> you don't tell me because I called Ian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're laughing. <laughs> It's not a nice laugh when you're like when you're a bit older. He's just being a bit rude. Isn't yeah, being a bit rude. That's what you get, guys, okay? When you want me to try and contact these things, you will get sometimes not nice messages, okay? They lie. They're quite funny. Look about I bet no one is in need of help. It was funny. It was a game to see me react, I expect. See me go, I'll help you, I'll pray for you. <laughs> you know, something along those lines, maybe. You'll never know if someone's genuinely, genuinely in need of help or, you know, something overtook and laughed at her despair. You'll never know. Kind of a scary thought, isn't it, when you think about it? I don't know many radio broadcasts that are broadcast at the right time. Right? 
tonight, maybe. Tonight, mate. Is that the end? The end! Right, that's the end spirits. It's time for you to go back. We are going to sleep. We have an early night tonight. Can you say goodbye? You never do, but can you count? Say goodbye. Nicely. Nicely, yeah. Do it nicely. Goodbye. Bye-bye. I mean, that was a result on FM as well. I never get a result on FM, so the only reason why I tried FM is because AM was all fucked up. And really, I'm still laughing over proving Demon's bloody video of that corpse. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, very good, very good. Anyway, I'm gonna do some more copyright stuff now. Mm. No, no more cold milk. No night spirits. No night everybody. And yes, you've now had an intimate. You can have my phone. It's got 22% battery. Oh, I only need to check something out. Yeah. Right. No nights now. Oh, a laser pen, yeah, we're going to mess about. Okay. Right. Anything else you need to get downstairs before we shut off and go to bed? No, are you. Um... Can I have no, I don't think so, Hold on. Can I have cold milk in the cup? Can I have what in the cup? Cold milk in the cup? Yeah. Oh, can I have cold milk in the cup? That's it. Okay, we're going to sleep. Like no, because you don't drink it, ever. Uh, no. Ow, buggery bollocks. Oh. Ow, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a bottle, of course. Plastic bottle, yes. You need to turn the light on. That would help when I turn the light on. There we go. Oh, dear me. There you go, something different for you. Um, yeah, reading the story to the spirits. It was a really good moment because we were just looking through the book and then like, we thought, why don't we ask him if they'd like a story? And they reacted to it and carried on. Then, then Missy started getting a bit bratty because she wanted her story, not that story, because they chose, settled on um, the Beauty and the Beast. We had a bit of a tantrum. And they called her a furtless. I was like, oh my God, why am I not recording this? And that's why I decided to record it. <laughs> so there you go, people. I'll upload it in the morning. So just remember it was night time and you watched it in the morning, all right? Take care, uh, peace, love, and empathy, and all that. And yeah, lovely jubbly. That's what it's all about. What a great video. Real positive video. Does order do positivity? There it is. There's your positivity. Of course, order does positivity. Fucking hell. Stay positive. I love that song by the streets, by the way. That's a real morbid song. Stay positive. Because <sighs> this world swallows souls. What? What are you doing here? You want to be in bed? Bedtime. Go on. Bedtime. Why is he calling? Because I'm saying goodbye. Goodbye. You say goodbye. Say goodbye to him. Bye bye. Can I switch it off? You press that button there. Say goodbye and press the button. Bye bye.